My Aquarius reading for July 2022 stopped for some reason, but I was on a roll. You know, I'm connecting spiritually, so I am not going to do this read over. Those are the messages from the last read. So this is going to be part two, and it's going to be posted as Aquarius reading July 2022 part two. Okay. So this is a continuation. Okay. Um, we're going to pull some advice cards for you, Aquarius. If you have not seen part one, please stop this video and go back to part one. This is part two <clears throat> because we're in the middle of a reading now. So again, um, anybody who's viewing this Aquarius July 2022 reading, please go back to video one, part one, and then come back because these messages are too important for me to have to reshuffle and put the cards out again. Okay, so please go to the first video and I'll see you back here when you complete the first part of this video. So moving along, I'm going to pull some advice for my Aquarius. Spirits, please show me the advice that you have for Aquarius. The advice that I have for you, let's see. I pulled the five of pentacles reversed, the devil and the three of pentacles reversed. There's a lot of conflict within your connection. There's good periods, there's bad periods, but it causes a lack of um, evolving, a lack of growth. That is a challenge that you have. You may be connecting with um, a Capricorn, with this devil, um, or you may be connecting with hmm, an earth sign, such as a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Take what resonates. These are the energies that I'm picking up in the car, in the cards, but it could be anyone. If this is your reading, if it's resonating, this is your read. But what I'm getting is there is like um, a lack of you guys coming together to work on this connection in a, in a way that it helps this connection evolve. A lot of times when y'all have conflicts, you don't really deal with the issue, you just suppress them. So they keep coming back up and interrupting this connection. And what's happening is it's causing some sort of sadness in this devil um, it's just like you're just feeling powerless and, and defeated in your connection because you're not conquering the issues. So y'all just like, oh, you know, after, you know, you guys get into a conflict with each other, it's like, okay, it's over. We're good now. Let's just leave it at that. But no, you can't leave it at like, like that. You have to address the issue so that it no longer becomes an issue because the, de the definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over and over and to, re to expect a different result. You have to deal with this. You guys are not being transparent with each other enough. Somebody in this connection with this devil card is not being transparent. So your challenge, like my advice to you is this five of pentacles reverse. You guys need to recover. You need to create a positive change so that you can improve this relationship, overcome the challenges of this relationship. And if money is involved, then you work together to overcome the challenge, the financial challenges that you guys are having. But um, you have to work on this. And that's the advice that I have for you. Don't just let things happen between y'all. You know, make an, uh, uh, come together and make a resolution happen. Work on the connection together. Because that's, you, there's, a, there's an energy of avoidance that I'm getting from you guys. So work on your connection. Okay? So let's see what other cards that I have for you. I'm going to pull some, some oracle messages from my rebel deck for you guys to see what messages the universe has for you. Sorry about that interruption earlier. This is the first time that something like that happened, but I am so connected. I am so on a roll. I just want you guys to get these messages. Okay. So what messages does the universe have for our Aquarius for July 2022? What messages do you, the universe have for the Aquarius? You think someone is lying. They are. Somebody is keeping something from you. Your, your partner is keeping things from you. I'm not saying that they're lying. Like they're blatantly just opening their mouth and a bunch of bullshit is coming out. What I'm saying is if someone's keeping things from you, that's just as bad as lying. And I already said there's an issue with transparency in this connection. So you guys are way overdue for a heart to heart conversation and attempting to resolve the issues that are causing your conflict. Okay, I get the the impression that sometimes you guys will say certain things just because y'all want to avoid an argument. 
but it's just like these things need to be said these are issues that you guys need to address okay so spirit show me another card you are loved you are here for a reason don't fuck it up you are loved this person loves you aquarius okay and you're in this connection for a reason so don't fuck it up fix it allow yourself to not be so afraid to discuss certain things for the sake of peace because then what happens is it's suppressed and then it comes out as anger get the fuck out of your head get in your heart it misses you because you have so much going on in your head you're all in your head about all these different issues all this stuff um so many things on your in your head that's why i got the seven of cups and the judgment reversed as you're in, in your current position and you need to get out of your head and just communicate take everything that's in your head cluttering your, your mental space and discuss it with your partner Spirit's asking me to pull two more cards. Drop the fucking eagle. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Yes, be vulnerable with your partner. You have to allow yourself. Don't let your ego destroy this relationship. Both of you. I'm speaking to both of you because I'm getting at this energy between the both of you that you return back and forth to each other. Allow yourselves to be vulnerable because in order to be loved, you have to be vulnerable. So if you want to keep love flowing, you have to continue to allow yourself to be vulnerable in your connection. Okay. You are giving too many fucks. Give zero. Stop worrying so much about things that are irrelevant, especially anything that's coming out from the outside of your connection, any outside influences. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull some romance angel cards, oracle cards, and then we're going to close this raid for Aquarius. I'm sorry I'm rushing it, but I have this fear that the camera may act up again. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to get these messages to you. Again, read the first, listen to the first video before you tune into this one. What messages, oracle messages from the romance um, deck do we have for our Aquarius? Spirits, please show me the cards I need to see. And thank you so much, Spirits. Thank you so much. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Flirt. You guys, instead of being so serious and in your head, bring back the playfulness and the fun into your relationship. Try to balance it out. If you feel tension, try to balance it out with some, some fun, okay? Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. This situation, this relationship, this connection can work if you put in the work. But avoidance is going to cause you guys to have the same problems, okay? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So there are things from your past that keep trickling into your current connection. It could be from past lovers. It could be from past issues that you guys had. You guys have to be transparent with each other so that you can forgive each other and learn from this. Spirit's asking me to pull one more card. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. A lot of you are married or you're going to end up being married. So if you wanna have a healthy union, you have, now's the time to be transparent with each other and work on the connection and, and, and remove all these blockages and be transparent with each other. It may not be both of you. In some instances, it's one person in the relationship that has these blockages. And then what happens again is they suppress their emotions and when they get angry, then you get all the outbursts. That's why I said there's all that fire energy, okay? So you guys can work at it. You can, it can work, but you have to make it work, okay? So that is all the messages that I have for you, Aquarius, for July 2022. Thank you for, so much for joining Alexander Tarot. Again, please like, share, and subscribe if this reading resonated with you. If it didn't, please come back, ring that bell, come back on the next one. I wish you all love, light, and healing, and I will see you on the next one.